back once again in front of US lawmakers. Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg, Twitter's Jack Dorsey, and Sundar Pichai, CEO of Google, who of course own YouTube. These three big tech companies are facing questions in the US Congress about how their platforms tackle the spread of online misinformation. This is the first time that these three CEOs have appeared before US lawmakers since the rollout of COVID-19 vaccines and the spread of online misinformation. But crucially, it's also the first time they've appeared since the storming of the US Capitol back on January the 6th. There, as we all remember, we saw supporters of the former US President Donald Trump entering the building. This followed weeks of Trump and his allies spreading conspiracy theories online claiming without evidence that the 2020 US election was fraudulent and stolen. And now the big tech platforms Facebook, Twitter and Google are facing questions about the role that they played when it came to the insurrection of the capital and the spread of misinformation around it. Now this comes as studies have repeatedly shown that platforms like Facebook were responsible for sharing content which glorified violence in the weeks up to the storming of the US Capitol building. Now, this is something that Facebook has denied. They say that these reports, like this one by Avaz, are distorted and hinder their important work when it comes to misinformation. But speaking to the Congress early this afternoon, Mark Zuckerberg said that while their policies were not perfect, the problems did not just lie with Facebook. The system isn't perfect, but it's the best approach that we've found to address misinformation in line with our country's values. It's not possible to catch every piece of harmful content without infringing on people's freedoms in a way that I don't think that we'd be comfortable with as a society. Now, in his opening statement, Mark Zuckerberg pointed towards a political and media environment which also focused on division. But that is getting a grilling, not just from Congress, but also on social media. The real Facebook oversight board have said on social media that Mark Zuckerberg is just not admitting to the company's responsibility when it came to the US Capitol. But these questions are not just concerned about that deadly insurrection. It's also focusing on the spread of misinformation around the COVID-19 pandemic and anti-vax conspiracy theories. Have a listen to the opening statement here by the subcommittee chairperson Mike Doyle. These vaccines are our best chance we have to fight this virus and the content that your websites are still promoting, still recommending and still sharing is one of the biggest reasons people are refusing the vaccine. Understand this, you can take this content down, you can reduce the vision, you can fix this, but you choose not to. As you heard there, a lot of the criticisms are based on these big tech platforms' business models. They say that the algorithms are pushing people towards misinformation and conspiracy theories. And a lot of this controversy concerns Section 230. This is a controversial law in the United States which gives these platforms protection from liability if people post things on their platform. That is something that US lawmakers, Angela, say they are going to look at. Certainly, it's something that big tech CEOs have previously defended, but it's also getting a lot of question marks today.